Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen with another live coding session. Uh, so today we have an exciting challenge that will test our problem solving skill and Python uh, expertise. So let's dive right in. Uh, today challenge is called uh, constraint a subsequence sum uh, 1425 from uh, daily lead coach challenges. So we are given an integer ri and an integer key. And our goal is to find the maximum sum of a non-empty subsequence of the ri with a twist. So for every two consecutive integer in the subsequence, their indices uh, difference must be less than or equal to uh, key. So uh, let's look at simple example. To understand this better, imagine we have uh, following. All right, so I will write it down. So 10 uh, to uh, minus 10, 5 and 20. And our key will be uh, 2. So the optimal subsequence will be as follows. So 10 to, then we skip uh, minus 10, uh, 5 and 20. Uh, and we need to output the sum. So sum of this uh, particular subsequence will be 37. Okay, so now uh, as we understand the problem better, uh, how do we approach this? So a naive solution might be to iterate through all subsequence, but uh, that will be too slow and inefficient. So instead, we will use a combination of dynamic programming and a sliding window approach. And we will maintain a DQ, which uh, will help us uh, keep track of the maximum sum within a window of size uh, key. So let's walk uh, through this uh, step by step. So first, uh, initialize a DQ to track max sum in the window of size key. So DQ will be DQ and loop through each number in nums. So for i in range len uh, nums, um, add max sum from last key position or zero if dq is empty. So num uh, i will be nums dq0 if dq else 0 and ensure dq is in decreasing order and within window size. So while dq and i minus dq greater than 0 uh, or num i greater than num dq minus 1 so last dq pop if num greater than num dq minus 1 else dq will pop left uh, okay so uh, now what we do is append positive numbers to the dq so if num i greater than 0 uh, dq append i and return return the max value from modified num so return max of nums so as simple or as uh, this so without uh, comments probably it will be quite a uh, short code uh, so all right uh, first yeah we can run it to check if it's working so yeah working for uh, given test cases. So given our array, 10, uh, 2 minus 10, 5, 20, key 2, output 37. So all good. So uh, we can dive uh, yeah, more deeply into this task. So first we initialize our DQ and we will uh, then, uh, we then loop uh, through 
the ARA and for each number we check the DQ to find the maximum sum uh, in the last key position and add it uh, if it's positive. And we also update our DQ to make sure it always in decreasing order uh, of sums. And yeah, so now after uh, computing for each position, the last step would be to return the maximum value from our modify uh, num array. And yep, we got solution. So let's submit it for unsynthesis cases as well to verify if it's working. So yeah, all good, uh, it's working. And we beat 71% uh, with respect to memory and also 75 with respect to uh, random. So really good. And yeah, everything's worked perfectly. Uh, so yeah, the solution took runtime of uh, 1,321 milliseconds. So if you prefer something faster, uh, yeah. So the option might be Rust programming languages. So I think nobody, or maybe there is uh, not so many statistics, but runtime is 40, 34 milliseconds and 3.2 megabytes. So uh, I really like Rust and Go and Python, but yeah, Rust is fast and Python is quite uh, readable. But as you can see, 1,321 milliseconds and almost 10 times, yeah, nine times more memory. But yeah, so uh, those are costs and benefits. So, and that's wrap up for today live coding session. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, deep dive into uh, constraint subsequence uh, sum problem uh, from lead code. So yeah, it's hard one, but uh, with proper understanding, it's not uh, so hard. And remember coding is as much about problem solving as it is about uh, syntax and understanding. So keep practicing and keep challenging uh, yourself. And if you found this session helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more coding uh, content, tutorial challenges, uh, machine learning, uh, tech, yeah, and much more. And if you have any question, drop your question or suggestion in the comment section below and uh, I will do my best to uh, respond. And also I will provide in the link in the description below implementation in uh, Python. Yeah, Python uh, we just did, but also Rust, Go, uh, C++ and much more. Uh, so yeah, you can check it as well. And until next time, keep practicing, stay motivated and happy coding.